Today we're going to show you how to route the Motorola Zoom, Wi-Fi, or 3G version with the new one-click method. Okay, so before we begin, we got to thank Jason Tyler for this great one-click app, and thanks to JBrew for posting it on XDA. All right, first thing you need to do is you need to download the one-click routing app. So click there. You'll be taken to the developer's thread on XDA. And we're going to scroll down at the bottom of the first post. You're going to see root my zoom with unroot. Click on that. Then download that and save it to your computer. Okay, now we're going to click on this show and folder. We're going to extract this. So you can just do extract to and the name. And wait for that to finish extracting. Okay, now you're going to download the Zoom drivers from Motorola. So we're going to click on that there. And it'll bring you here. You're going to click USB drivers on the right. And click download Motorola 4.9.0 driver help. And then once that's done, we're going to click on it. And follow the instructions to install it. Okay, so then we're going to plug our zoom in via USB cable. And we're going to go to settings, applications, development, and we're going to turn USB debugging on. And then click OK. And hit home. So once it installs the ADB drivers, now that you have that driver pack installed and you've plugged in with the USB cable and USB debugging on, we can open that folder that we extracted. We're going to right click root my zoom, hit run as administrator. If you don't have that option, just hit open. And we're going to hit yes. It's telling you make sure you're in USB debugging. That's fine. We're going to click root my zoom and wait for it to do its thing. Okay, eventually this screen will pop up. You're going to want to hit volume down and then volume up to select it and you're going to do the same thing again. Volume down, volume up. Uh, keep in mind that this whole process will erase everything on your Zoom. So if you had anything on there, you should have backed it up beforehand when you read the before you begin. Um, and uh, it's doing its thing, so let's do its thing. Okay, now you're going to tap the start button on the screen. Wait for it to allow you to skip if you don't have Verizon. Hit next. Connect to a network. Can't once you've connected to the network, hit next. Hit next. Uh, when it says sign into your Google account, make sure you hit skip. And then wait for it to bring up your home screen. Okay, now you're going to go to settings. Applications, development, and we're going to turn USB debugging on again because the wipe undid that. Hit home, and then follow the rest of the prompts on the computer screen. Eventually it'll say flashing uh, partition boot status done. When it says that, you're going to click OK. On the eventually the zoom will reboot. Just to unlock the screen. Click cancel. And then follow the prompts on the camera. Okay, we're going to go to the apps and make sure that super user is in there. Then make sure that we are still in USB debugging mode, which we are. And then go to the next step on the computer screen. Okay, and so long as you have that super user in there, you're rooted and good to go. Enjoy.